Hello everyone, welcome back. It's appetizer day, which is perfect for Christmas coming up, New Year's, or even football season, which we're in the midst of right now. What we're gonna do is start creating a four ingredient cheesy meatball appetizer bite. Oh, these are good, you guys. Only four ingredients. The first ingredient is going to be the crescent roll dough. You can get the sheet, if you can find the sheets, or you can just get the regular triangle ones. We're gonna roll this out, and then we're gonna pinch the seams together. It's not everybody's favorite thing to do, is it? <laughs> Popping open those cans. All right, let's roll it out. Can't beat four ingredient recipes, right? Now, if you get the ones with the triangles like I have here, you just wanna take your fingers and just press the seams together because we're not gonna be doing triangle shapes. There we go. Just gonna take my rolling pin and just kind of roll that to make sure all the seams are closed. That's it, we're not rolling it out any thinner than what it comes in the package. Now we wanna make 12 equal pieces from this one dough. So I'm gonna cut three lines. And then we'll do it here. Now what we're gonna do is cut four equal parts. You wanna get it as equal as you can. If it doesn't happen, that's fine. So I'm just gonna go right down the center, and then I'm going to divide this section in half, and then divide this in half. Now I think, that one's kinda of some, oh, I think that's much better right there, okay. We're gonna seal this right here. I think I made that too small. That's okay. We're gonna be taking 12 tins, muffin tins. Now these are the standard size, not the minis. And we're just gonna spray the inside. Now both of these have six each in them. So we're gonna take one of the squares and we're gonna place it into one of the tins and just press it down. It's not gonna come over the edges of our muffin tin, okay? It's gonna kinda of puff up over what we put in it, which will be really delicious. All right, so take your square and then just press it in. So take your square and just press it in. Okay, if you were making these for football season, what team are you rooting for? Is it the pro season? Is it the collegiate? All right, we live in Texas, Southeast Texas. So we're rooting for the Texans but these are also great for Christmas parties, potlucks. Don't forget New Year's Eve. <laughs> you definitely want that. All right, I'm gonna run through these really quick. The last six. You gotta love crescent roll dough to make you an appetizer. They have a really nice texture. You can transform anything into something delicious. The next two ingredients We've got our favorite marinara sauce, whatever you like. And then we've got some shredded mozzarella cheese. Now this is, I don't consider this an ingredient. It's a seasoning and we're gonna be using Italian seasoning because this is gonna be like an Italian flavored appetizer. All right, we're gonna take our spoon. We're gonna take two teaspoons of the sauce and we're gonna place it on top of the dough in each muffin tin. You wanna flavor this from the inside out, and we're on the inside right now. <laughs> and then once we get the sauce in there, we're gonna put the cheese on top of that. What kind of pasta sauce or marinara sauce do you like? I use several different types, different brands. Okay, we're gonna take our mozzarella cheese that's been shredded and we're going to sprinkle about one teaspoon on the top of the sauce. You know, we're keeping the flavor. I'm going to be sprinkling a little bit of Italian seasoning on top of the cheese. Just a little sprinkling. You don't want to overpower it. 
Now I do put the muffin tins inside of a regular sheet pan here that has a lip around it. Because we sprayed the muffin tin, some of the spray tends to get on top of it and I don't want it to just drip into my oven. That can cause an oven fire and you don't want that. Now hang on to these ingredients, you're going to need them. We're going to go get another ingredient. Now these are frozen and they come in your grocery store in the freezer section. You can keep these frozen until you need to pull them out for this dish here. They don't have to thaw out first. Now the size of the package just depends on how many of these you're going to make. Since I'm using 12, this is the perfect size. We'll have some leftover meatballs for soups or anything like that you want to make them for. This is a 28 ounce size package, so about 1.75 pounds. Oh, it smells good in there. If you want to make your own homemade meatballs for this, that is totally fine. I would, but I'm showing you a real simple four ingredient appetizer. Yeah, you can make your own meatballs, bake them in the oven, and then drain them, and then just pop each meatball into your muffin tin here, right on top of that cheese. My oven is talking over there because it's heating up. They smell so good. Now you want to make sure that you kind of get the regular meatballs, like this one here is fine. You don't want to get like the Swedish meatballs that they have or other weird flavors because you want that Italian flavor from the Italian seasoning and that to come out. We're done with the meatballs. Okay, we're going to repeat the process with the sauce. We're just going to cover the meatball. Mmm, just one teaspoon for this one. We don't want to drench them. Just like that. All right, once we get the sauce on the meatballs, we're going to add the cheese. Y'all, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows are posted. I've been doing this for over five years. And also, make sure you give a thumbs up or a like for this recipe here. Let's sprinkle some cheese on top. Let's top this off. We're all going to love these. There won't be any left. No. Let's get some Italian seasoning again. We're going to sprinkle on top. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is looking so good. I've got my oven preheating at 375 degrees. We're going to place this in there for about 15 to 17 minutes to allow them to bake, get golden brown on those crescents, that cheese nice and melty, and the meatball heated through. I'll be back. I'm going to give this a try for you. All right, look at these. I've just pulled them out of the oven. It took about 18 minutes to get them nice and golden brown, the meatball cooked through, and that cheese nice and melted. We're going to let these sit in the muffin tins for five minutes before we pull them out. All right, we're just going to use a spoon, pull it up under, pick it out, place it on your plate. Sometimes you can get something stuck on there. That's okay, just go around the edges, pop it out. Don't those look delicious? Serve those up. All right, we're gonna garnish with a little bit of dried parsley. Give it some green, pop a color. Cheesy meatball appetizer bites, perfect for any get together. I'm gonna give one a try for you. That's delicious. Almost tastes like a pizza. <laughs> that meatball is cooked through, nice and tender, juicy. The, the crescent roll is nice and golden and crunchy on the top, soft on the bottom. Got that cheese, your favorite marinara sauce, a little parsley, pull it all together. Mm, that's delicious. All right, if you're looking for an appetizer, Try these right here. You can double, triple the recipe if you want. Wow. Give them something a little different this season. All right, y'all. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one. That's the like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here 
are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.